How's it going everybody? I am the Texas Man. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoyed it. And also hit that subscribe button so you guys do not miss out on a single video coming out in the future here on the Texas Man channel. So we're going to do a real quick video. BB-8 and... Uh, what's the other droid's name? BB-9E has just come to Star Wars Battlefront 2. So we're going to take a look at their uh, abilities and some other things that have come. So this is BB-8. It's got four emotes. Excited. Thumbs up. Angry beeps. Twist. That's pretty cool. Voice lines. We have excited. Thumbs up. Angry beeps. Twist. I don't know why they're not playing. Victory poses. We have side. Thumbs up. Wired parade and cables out. <laughs> I love the cables out one. Um. His star cards, he has a total of nine. He has uh, self repairs, shielded roll, head first, whirlwind, sp spared batteries, spinner, trusty droid, undercover, and roll together. All right, so let's take a look at his abilities. Oh, wow, he has six abilities. So he has three main abilities and three passive abilities. So we'll take a look at the main abilities. Uh, left ability is resistance backing. BB-8 scrambles enemy radars while revealing hostiles to himself and his allies. If attacked, revealed, enemies will take increased damage. Mm. Uh, his middle ability, cable spin. BB-8 deploys his cables and lashes out with a spin, inflicting high damage to all close by enemies. That's uh, unique. And then his uh, right ability, Rolling Charge. BB-8 charges forward to knock down and damage the first enemy standing in his path. If blocked, the enemy is still staggered and damaged. Hmm, so kind of like a Han Solo, Solo, a Han Solo shoulder charge. Then his three passive abilities is uh, pass uh, Health on Elimination. BB-8 gets health for each enemy defeated. Technical support, BB-8 counts as two units from capturing a point and activates objectives faster, so that'll be cool for uh, Supremacy. And Swift Reaction, BB-8 passively increases the cooldown speed of friendly characters around him. So BB-8 seems to be a very supportive type of person, and uh, someone that you're going to have to be close to enemies to uh, damage and kill. So very unique. Alright, and then for... Uh, BB-9E. Which we only saw this dude in uh, The Last Jedi. Which, if you guys have been following me, you guys know I hate The Last Jedi with a passion. So we'll take a look at his emotes. He's got... Suspicious. Alarm. That's pretty cool. Backfire. And Spiral. Okay. To be completely honest with you guys, I love BB-8 more than this first order droid. Voice lines, we have Suspicious, Alarm, Backfire, and Spiral. Victory poses, we have Shocking Victory, Incognito, Vigilant, and Bow. For uh, his cards, we have Full Reconstruction, Hardy Exhaust, I See You, Spin me around. Linked systems. Faster, faster. Supercharged. Swift power. And point it back to. Actually, I wonder if we're going to get back to bombs. And then for his abilities, he has six, just like BB 8. He's got three main abilities and then three passives. His uh, left ability is smoke screen, very self-explanatory. It poses a dense smoke screen, obstructing enemy vision while revealing their positions at the same time. So kind of like uh, with the assassin droid. Shock spin is his middle middle ability. On an activation, BB9E pushes and damages close by enemies with an electric pulse. Enemies further away will have their blaster overheated and grenades disrupted. BB9E will damage close by enemies for the remainder of the activation time. That is a mouthful, so his middle ability seems more powerful than BB-8's. Because it's going to push them, damage them, and then it'll overheat your blaster, and it'll make it so your grenades will not be able to be tossed. 
and it will also do some double damage if possible depending on how close you are to him. His right ability is charged up, BB-8 emits pulse that prevents the shock prod and any friendly bash any friendly blaster in the vicinity from overheating. So it will be able to just melee you to death or attack you or whatever. In addition, close by allies will have their abilities recharged reduced. BB-9E uh, seems to be uh, go around and kill people type of droid. He's got three passives, health on elimination, uh, technical support, and back to support, which is all just the exact same thing as BB-8. And uh, that's it. So I want you guys thought of this video. Which droid do you guys like the most out of these two? Which one are you guys most excited to play as if you guys haven't had a chance to play as these guys yet? Let me know down in the comment section. You guys all have a phenomenal day. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.